stamp. I, I don't think I pressed the red button for the last video that I was doing when I restarted this camera. Anyway, what I'm saying, I had um, it had a break, and uh, I'm now on the way back to East Quantock Head on the top path by the coast. Tide's going out. I've had a lovely time. I had a Magnum ice cream at the Holiday Village. Um, the battery was exhausted on this camera when I was at um, St Audrey's mansion area. Um, so I put the other camera on and put this one on charge. And it's just... I was going along quite happily. I just turned itself off but because I probably had it on standby and it wasn't recording. That's what it does. If you haven't pressed so the red button comes up, it turns itself off after about a couple of minutes. So you could be recording and it turns off and it don't say that. Because it was it said, look, I'm on standby. <sighs> right then, across there. Everybody knows what that's called, don't they? Steep home! It's funny, the tractor was along here a minute ago. He must have been working his way along here all day. He got to where I was up there and finished and turned around and went back. And first of all, I, thought, I didn't know that until I... And I thought, oh, he's cut all the grass for me. For my return trip. He'd been working on this all day. Now, if I'd come this morning this way, a lot of this would have been like that, high. So he's been along and cut it all. And then they bail it up, you know. They bail it all this, uh, another machine will come out and, and bail it all up. Now, that, that sort of humpy lumpy place, I gotta follow round the corner by the trees. And there's like a, a gorge there. This humpy bumpy bit that we're on now all sticks out, but I thought I won't walk round it. I'm not gonna do any exploring at this late stage in the walk at four o'clock, up past four ish. I'll um, leave that. I'm just going to start making my way back now uh, and enjoying it, but it's very hot now because I've got... There might be a bit of shade when I get near those trees in a minute. Apart from that, I make, I'm right in the sun and it's right on my back. I'm trying to keep it off my neck. So I was always told, protect your neck. So just imagine, he's only cut that, this, today. And uh, he's probably been doing this all day while I've been walking up on the hills there. And it's all ready for me, look. When I come back. Doing it a second time, we reinforced the walk, the route again. I mean, it was all very new to me, this bit, last year. And this is only the second time I've done it. And I'm, and I'm doing it in reverse. You think when you look at that humpy lumpy bit, you think that would have been like a, a type of hill fort in the past because it's strategic position. I wouldn't be surprised if it or a lookout post. And there's a gorge down there, but hence there's water flowing down in that valley there. Just while the sun's gone in, I'm just gonna take the hat off a minute. It will get better the pathway in a minute. I remember this before, very humpy bumpy, and some people turned back, they didn't like it. It was too humpy bumpy for them. I've only just started to feel a bit tired over the last quarter of an hour actually, since I've been in the sun, I think. It's amazing, look corn on the cob type stuff little gate can't see the corn on the cob that'll come oh it is warm everyone it is warm Like I said, this could have been like a forest if I'd... I mean, a lot of people might not bother with this route, you know, because um, they might go on the beach or they might say it's too horrible or they might say we can't get any further when we get up there. 
and it's very humpy bumpy if you've got a young family and it is un uneven like this it just put more pressure on especially with tired legs especially with tired legs but it will even up after we get out back on the main track in a minute it's only while we go around this clump of trees and there's a welcoming breeze over and out